Make money from your couch. Build wealth with the click of a button. Double your income, double your fun. Earn millions while you sleep. YouTube is filled with people promoting side hustles left, right, and center. But how many of them even work? And in this video, we're gonna talk about how the allure of side hustles is an absolute hoax and it does not work. It's a strategy to lure in innocent people. Watch till the end because we're gonna share the three bitter truths about side hustles and passive income and the two actions we took once we learned the truth. Most side hustles fail. First, let's talk statistics. Did you know that according to the US Bureau of Labor Statistics, approximately 20% of small businesses fail within the first year. The failure rate increases to 30% by the end of the second year and a whopping 50% by the fifth year and 70% by the 10th year. These are not just numbers. This is a stark reality that business is hard and passive incomes even harder. But does that mean it is possible? Not really. I'm sure there are some people out there who were able to make their passive incomes into a realistic business, but that's not going to be the truth for most people, just like it wasn't for us. Side hustles usually don't convert to a stable form of income and it's in the name. It's a side hustle. We actually feel like side hustles are really a distraction and a way for most people to want to earn some quick money. And that's the reason because of this attitude, all these videos are popping up and getting a whole bunch of views. If if you are new to our channel, we are Nabil and Zanesta and last year we packed up our life in Australia to do an adult gap year with our toddler. Our goal is simple, to build our freedom based business while we travel the world. The second truth is time is not your friend. So ask yourself this question and answer honestly. How much time do you realistically think you'll be able to give her day to your side hustle? Now imagine you have 24 hours in a day. Your job will take up about eight hours. You need to sleep maybe for another eight hours. Now you will have to commute to and from work, which is about another two hours. Household chores like cooking, cleaning and etc. may take two more hours and maybe another two hours you devote to family time. So so at best, you will have two hours each day to work on your side hustle, provided that you don't really spend any time on yourself. So you know how we were talking about how most businesses fail, despite all the money, time and effort. So with two hours a day, do you really think that you will be able to make a side hustle successful? We have done this and on multiple locations. And what we've found is consistently doing this, like providing a couple of hours a day, every day for a long period of time is highly unlikely because life just happens and honestly keeping motivation is really hard due to lack of progress and the end result is we end up quitting and moving on to the next shiny object the next side hustle so you really fall into this vicious cycle of doing one thing not working out doing another thing not working out and then move on to another one The third truth is the odds are stacked against you. Nowadays, most of us are not immune to the culture of instant gratification. We want quick wins and quick results, but unfortunately, that's not how life works. Many enter into side hustle with unrealistic expectations, but when results don't appear overnight, motivation wanes and the side hustle fizzles out. Also, by the time an average person finds out about a side hustle and thinks that's the next big thing, chances are that idea has already been saturated so because it has saturated a lot of these people are actually starting to make money by teaching others how to do it but even worse if it hasn't saturated you might be taught or you learn a strategy that's really old honestly that's happened with me and a lot of the times when these happens you are basically destined for failure from the very beginning because you weren't given the right tools to start off with lastly a side hustle the returns that you get from a side hustle is usually small but even with a side hustle the initial investment is quite high so the chance of you ever breaking free or making money out of that it's really really low so all in all the odds are really stacked up against you when it comes to side hustles 
So what's the solution? Once we learned about these three bitter truths, we decided to take action and we will break it up for you in two parts. Part number one, we decided to double down on just one thing. Instead of being distracted by one side hustle after the other and in the process losing a lot of time and money, we chose to do one thing and one thing only. We knew there are no guarantees, but it gives us the best chance to make it work. We went ahead, we did our research, we studied the market, we saw if there is any demand, we understood, we picked something that we thought we were passionate about and we thought that we had knowledge in that area and we just went for it. And the second action might seem a little out there, but hear us out. Now here's a thought. Instead of juggling a side hustle with a full-time job, what if you and your partner both could focus solely on your business for a year or two? That's exactly what we did and it's through the concept of currency hacking. It's the strategy of relocating to a country with a lower cost of living while spending with a stronger currency, allowing you the time to fully focus on building your business. This could realistically allow you and perhaps your spouse to live comfortably while dedicating full-time hours to your business without the financial pressure of your home country. Preparing for this life-changing shift means hard work now for greater freedom later. It involves saving aggressively, perhaps for about a year, while also laying the groundwork for your business. Use this initial phase to research, plan, and understand your business market. Then, when you relocate, you can hit the ground running with the focus and time to make your business a success. So that's exactly what we did. We went ahead and did an adult gap year. Now, when you hear the word gap year, right, it's very much connected to, say, a young person taking some time off after high school or after university. But for us, that wasn't the case. We took the time for a purpose. We felt like we needed the time in order to focus fully on our business. And we literally couldn't do that in a Western country simply due to the cost of living. However, you can do that in regions like, say, South East Asia, South America, or even Eastern Europe. So this is our adult gap year where we are focusing on our freedom-based business while we travel the world because honestly, this is something that we wanted to do too, travel the world. So essentially, we wanted to kill two birds with one stone. So if this is something that you feel like you can actually do and you are going to be bold about it, we have done a comprehensive guide on this particular matter which gives you a pretty good overview on how we did this. We'll link it for you in the description. It's absolutely free. All you need to do is go and get it. So I hope this video gave you an insight of why doing a side hustle is not the right way to go about. And maybe you do something alternative, which is going beyond what the whole mass is doing. If you like this video, you're going to like this other video that we did around how we quit our nine to five jobs. We will link it for you over here as well. Definitely do subscribe to our channel because we will continue to make videos like this. Take care and we'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.